Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide. In fact, no, it's just an achievement guide. But anyways, this time we are back with Open Roads. Uh, this was developed by the Open Roads team, published by everybody's favourite, Annapurna Interactive. And is usually available for £16.74 slash around, what, $19.99, something like that. Uh, but it has been and is being included on Xbox Game Pass right now. So let's get Game Pass and get, yeah. Right, so, uh, yeah, what a lovely, genuinely, genuinely lovely game this is. So basically, we play as Tess and Opal, a little mother and daughter, uh, no, don't say tag team, uh, a mother and daughter combo who effectively just go on the road to try to uncover a mystery that they, uh, have basically found and then it starts getting it's actually a really really good story and everything's just relaxed and it genuinely is a great game uh, now as for uh, achievements achievements very easy um there is chapter select if you do end up missing something that's fine there's no collectibles uh, it's basically a whole lot um just interact with a few certain things again just check the timestamps if you want um and yeah so this will literally take you following the guide less than an hour which is it's just perfect for game pass so anyway like i said let's do it and we begin here by getting it straight into chapter one and we are going to get straight into the achievements so uh anytime you pick up any notes or anything you can press the right bumper to flip over the first thing we're going to do though is pick up everything in tess's room so the first of all we're going to pick up little martin prince's geode my geode must be acknowledged it's a geode! I haven't seen that since The Simpsons. And again, we are going to have to pick up everything until a cutscene starts. So, uh, we're going to pick up Mr. Buns in The Huns. Uh, don't worry about that. Um, if you have a look, in this includes all posters, photos, and everything like that. So, pick up the poster, the power strip, the brush with... That's not realistic, because there's no clumps of hair in it or anything. Uh, open up the drawer and there is a birthday card here, so we'll pick up the birthday card as well. And for some reason, Tess looks like she's just about to start in a new Fallout game. Uh, pick up the Friendship bracelet. Tess and Fran, it's a great Swedish name. Um, pick up the... God damn it, Tess, why aren't you feeding your bra? Anyway, pick up the iPad bra. Um, the note we are going to pack up. Now, also note that you can't actually pick up and pack everything in this room. Uh, but the erasers we are going to need, the delicious looking oranges, which don't actually taste of orange and apples. That, uh, yeah, that ma messed us up in school, didn't it? Uh, don't have to worry about the trash can, but again, pick up the posters as well. Open up the closet and there's the yearbook or the yearbook. Ye or if you're, of course, in America, the yearbook. Or something. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, you can pop some bubble wrap if you want. That's my childishness coming out, which is fine. Uh, but over onto this next computer desk, there's going to be a school newspaper we are going to pack up as well. The American flag. Uh, pick up an invoice. Pick up the... <whistles> the nail polish, because the girl can't go anywhere without a nail polish, man. Is what I assume. Uh, so there's two on there. Plus, we're going to pick up the mug. Which uh, perfectly encapsulate people's moods. Smiley and miserable. Uh, so pick up the two erasers as well. You don't have to worry about the plane ticket. But have a look. Uh, now, uh, have a look in all three drawers. There's loads. There's quite a few things to pack in all three drawers. But I actually forget uh, to look at the bottom two drawers. Um, but just go ahead and make sure to do that. Uh, obviously, I c I'll come back in just a little bit. So near panic and near bother. Uh, so pick up the calendar when you're done as well. You don't have to worry about the shirt. Have a look on this little desk here. Pick up the jar of sticky pins. Um, this is a birthday card from your dad who conveniently forgets your birthday. Grande. Uh, pick up the matchbooks. Pick up the jackalope. The jackalope. Or just the jackalope for short. Um, pick up all four things off the corkboard. Cork I married Bigfoot. Unfortunately, he's got a small... Um, anyway... So again, pick up everything and press the X button, of course, to pack it all up. The cup here and the book don't matter. Oh, in fact, yes, the book does matter. Sorry, it's just the cup. Uh, very sneaky. Have a look at the pen from work, because, of course, you're desperately going to need that. And there is the hip hop hippity hoppo. So make sure to pick that one up as well. Now, I just have gone back to the uh, computer desk. 
because I am Snilly Snossage. Uh, again, there's going to be a report card, which, I mean, yeah, looks good enough to me. So we're all good. And again, open the third one right there, and there's a couple of things. Now, again, this is quite unrealistic because uh, anytime there's a girl about, hair clips are not found in one place. They're normally strewn absolutely everywhere. Um, that, that's effectively my daughter's bedroom, is bobbles and hair clips everywhere. It's like... It's like I'm drowning in the things. Oh, and that's what girls do. They're quite cool at that. Right, if you are still struggling and wondering what's going on, again, for me, it was the posters on the walls here just next to the TV. So it was those two. And a quite sneaky photo just underneath the TV there. But once I had picked it up, this is what you should be greeted with. So again, you can probably do that a lot quicker than I did there. Um, but... You know, it doesn't matter, there's no rush, just enjoy the game for all its beauty. It's a great, beautiful debut game, this one, by the Open Roads team. So, once we're done, we're going to hold the A button here to go downstairs. You can press the A button to smash through the dialogue, which we will be doing uh, for the sake of the guide. But, again, for the sake of the story and its enjoyment, just, uh, you know, have a look at it. Uh, dialogue choices do not matter throughout the entirety of the game, so you can literally pick whatever you want. Um, now, to be fair, Opal kind of looks like she got a bit of a Cruella de Vil, like she's hiding 101 Dalmatians somewhere. Um, but, uh, no, she's not. She, she's a cute man. She's a cute man. Right, anyway, uh, press the select button. Yep, I'm still calling it the select button, so up yours. Uh, we're going to head up the stairs. Uh, when we get upstairs, we are going to head to the left into kitchen. Take a right, open up the freezer, and then just leave. Yes, be that animal that you are. Be the hardcore bro that you are. Look at you, gangster. So once you walk away, you will get the Born in a Barn achievement. There it is. Uh, nah, we're not going to close the freezer because we're gangster, bruh. Right, so I go to the left, past the stairs, left into the sort of living room area. Go towards the bin. Or the trash can. Pick up whatever you want. Can't beat a bit of uh, bin-style leftover Chinese noodles. Uh, gives you good worms. Makes your stomach <clears throat> nice and ab-friendly. Uh, but once you've done that, we'll get told off by Moami. And we'll get the Just Checking It Out achievement. So next, what we're going to do is now head up the stairs. And Moami dearest, Opal Pie, is going to get a phone call off her sister, August. So Opal and August, it's uh, yeah, that's great. It's, it's yeah, some nice names. And that's all I've got to say on the matter. <laughs> right, so again, once we have finished this, we are going to effectively come up now to finishing chapter one and getting another achievement in the process. So head straight upstairs. We're going to take a left, basically take an immediate left all the way around and take a right into the bedroom. Nice bedroom, apart from the old, you can smell the old on the bed, can't you? Uh, open up the Amour, or the Amori. Pick up the old hook bags. Granny definitely used this for something else. Picking a nose, I expect. That's all. Mm. Remember, there's no, there wasn't any only grands back in the day. And then just go ahead and pull down the steps. I'm so sorry. And once your mother goes in, we can finally... Oh, I say finally, we're not even ten minutes in yet. Uh, but we are going to finish the chapter. Luckily, there's no, uh, no no bodies or anything up here. Gran wasn't a secret assassin. But if you head to the sort of back left of this room, remove the sheet. And after the dialogue has been fulfilled and pull-pilled, uh, there's going to be a suitcase that we can open up. Now, you can have a look in everything if you want. But if you just want to get the problematic achievement... And finish the first chapter, open up the suitcase, uh, grab a few things, but make sure to be picking up the diary and reading it. And pressing the right bumper to go next. And that will, again, end the first chapter and unlock the achievement. Aren't you see seeing what? Right here. Uh-huh. It's obviously the... In our backyard. Indubitably. Lady... Pr Dogs don't... Only cartoon... It was a different... Sure. Well, was Grandma cheating on Gr No, not the hell. <gasps> Grandma, what?
Grandma's... Should we? Oh, I don't... Oh, Gra... I'm dead. What difference does it make to... What is this? So, you never- No. A and what is this? Something- Okay, well- To find out who this- Don't you wanna- I don't know, tell- Come on. I still need- Come on. Well- You do. I can see it. You know- Ha. Huh. We could spare a- Right. And some of those little- Yeah. All right. Let's hit the road. We could really you pack your overnight. Yeah. And yes, that will be the end of that. Now we're going to go on the road again. I just can't wait to get on the road again To find out if only grands Have been cheating on granddad bro So there we go, that's chapter one Welcome to chapter two Another couple of achievements we're gonna smash out straight away So the first one we're gonna do um, In fact I thought it would work with the uh, orange yum yum thing But it pretty much doesn't So what we're gonna do Just keep smashing the door to unlock it and lock it That is gonna piss your mother off she has a very short anger span, as it turns out. But we will get the Does This Bug You achievement. But you can get it if you do it with the backpack as well. So there we go. Uh, next up, we're going to turn the radio on. So is it all right if we listen to the open roads? The mom's going to be like, screw you, bro. But we're going to seek it up. And the specific channel we're going for is 106.7 FM. Now just wait uh, f about 30 seconds or so until, uh, now it is like beeping or something. Obviously I've turned the music off because I'm scared of being copyrighted and then I can't make that mega 50 pence that I do with each of my videos. Uh, but <laughs> once this is done, you will then get the signal achievement. Da da! And of course, because the game is very fresh today, I'm getting all the yum yum rare stuff, which we do, yes, we do love and enjoy. Right. So open up the glove compartment. Oh, actually, we'll turn the radio off first. Don't know why that made a difference, but anyway. Uh, pick up the phone. Now, I thought you could text Dad, your papa, straight away. You know, this guy is kind of like the, yeah, man, I'm, my band's going to make it. You know, dude's in his 50s, but my band's going to make it. I'm almost there now, just gonna get a hip replacement surgery. <clears throat> uh, but once he doesn't message back, we are going to message our friend Francine. Um, and all we're doing is waiting for Daddy Pie to text back. But once we have text Francine, uh, we're gonna interact with the uh, maps, the directional maps in front of us and maybe the receipt until we are able to speak to our mom and then our phone will buzz, indicating Papa has text back. When did you say the Oh, I'm six. I meant about. So, like. And you say you're. What was it like? The summer house? <laughs> From what? Yeah. So, why did you say. Oh, yeah. We did Dad even. So, you're saying. He's a man of leave. Is that what that. What else would it mean? He sure does. Because I knew. It needed a lot. Well, not last. Yeah. You're. And. You to live in? To live, Tess. Uh, Why not? Well, it doesn't have some. Fine. I don't know yet. We're gonna be living in- No. Cause it feels- We can find- How are you even- The theater- I thought you- Well, you know- Mom. What? We need- Believe me. Excuse me? He, he could have- Well, have you asked- Absolutely. <laughs> but- <laughs> What? I'm not. It, it wasn't- then, then what was- If he hasn't- Your father- We made decisions. <laughs> And fine. Oh yes, you can't beat it, can you? The whole 
You know if I had the money, I'd give it to you, but I'm currently using the money to roll it up and stick it up my nose for no reason whatsoever. None. I just like looking like a, you know, thing with things sticking out of his nose. Anyway, once you have done that, you text Dad back, everything's all good, we'll get the achievement there for um, basically completing the second chapter. Then we're on to chapter three and we're going to have a little bit more of... Freedom to roam around. The sad thing is, apparently, uh, Tess has either got extremely short legs or she's got a limp or something because she is the slowest character that I've ever come across. But luckily, the scenery is pretty damn beautiful, so we're all good. But again, we're going to do a bit more exploring and slap out some more achievements. So first things first, we're going to head past the camp of Anna on the left and we're just going to continue straight and then head right when we get to the end of the, um, you know... Basically following the, just the path around, that's what I'm trying to aim for. And then go past the bunch of crap on the right here, and have a look at the crawl space just to your right. Huh? What's under here? So there might- I guess? I should go in. How did I know- Just think- Hold on. Not safe how- The floor could stay outside. Just- be You know it. Yeah brah, Tess gets it, it's what we need in an adventure. So, again, there's only one path to go around. I mean, look at the dangerness of this. Look at this. If one of those cinder blocks decide to just nip off, then the whole house is coming down. That's some good building work back in the 60s and 70s. Huh? Uh, so, anyway, follow the path all the way around. Damn, man, how much crap are they hiding down here? It's like a gold mine of no gold. And then when we get to this middle area, uh, yeah, pick up the papers or just climb up. You'll, um, Tess will do it anyway. This is good. Mom's got to see this. Mom, I found a way in. Hang on, I'll open the back door. Hey, Mom, look, look. Another lead. He wanted to live with, maybe we can figure out. It looks like, it looks like a boat. A house. Hmm, can't seem. It's near. Maybe we can look for a place. Oh, now this mystery is getting juicy, yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do now is head straight, take an immediate right into the bathroom, have a look at the mirror, t uh, pick up the photo, and then press X to Hey Mom, and we will get the Waiter Skater achievement. And yes, she was one of those people that liked putting coffee and pear and stuff in. So uh, head left into this next room, um, where we are going to find Auntie August's childhood friend. So again, obviously, as I said before, you can just smash through any uh, any dialogue options. It does not matter. But genuinely, I, no, obviously, I, I'm probably being stupid. But what we're going to do here is just interact with the uh, second drawer. But in America, uh, you Americans can always tell me. Uh, let's just close the drawer here, open up the bottom one, and then interact with the map. But do they still have, like, roller skating waiters going, Ha ha, do you want some coffee and pear? Because if that's the case, then, then, bruh, give me money to go to America. I really want to taste everything that America has to offer. You know, all the stuff. I want some coffee and pear. Anyway, once this is done, we're going to head straight outside, take a right, and interact with the right-hand side of the doghouse, where it'll say dig up here, and just interact with the items underground in order to get that next achievement. Got me thinking about pear. Ready to unearth? You are really crawling through all- It's for the sake of the- Don't let me- So this is where August buried her feeling. Mom! Come on! What? I don't know. Maybe we should keep it. Maybe August... I think so too. We can just put it in. Welcome back. And yes, I do also want to try your whole biscuits and gravy thing, because the way Britain does it, uh, Bisto and um, digestives don't really work. Um, anyway, so once that one is done, oh, and of course, 64, 64 slices of American cheese, of course. So we're going to head to the front of the property, take the next left into the bedroom-ish area again, 
straight in front of us is going to be a key right on this uh, little desk type thing. So we're going to go ahead and take that again, have a little bit of conversation with your old, your old Opal Mama. And then what we're going to do is turn around to head straight back outside. Take a left and interact with the back of the van. And yes, this is as hippie-ish as you can get. You can, you can basically smell it as soon as you get inside now. You know, just have a look at the things and go, that smells like mediocre, that's unwashed feet, and just pure jointness. Oh, and probably some, some poop stains somewhere as well. So, uh, in the glove box is the screwdriver. That's all we're getting um, in there. There's probably some old moldy Malteser hair or something as well. Just popping around. But once we do have the screwdriver, where we're going to go now is uh, back into the bedroom areas on our right. So nip it back through here. Uh, go through the right-hand side door. And then to the left door. We couldn't open this one before without the screwdriver. So there we go. But again, the, the mystery is about to get even juicier. Uh, so what we're going to do then is interact with the desk right in front of us. There's nothing else to interact with in the room. So we open up the desk. Have a look at the uh, note and the piece of paper. And the reason I keep saying it in French is because basically we're thinking that our only gran decided to have an affair with a hot American Frenchman. Or just normal, uh, no American Frenchman. What's that? What, I, what does he mean when he says those are... Uh, I... Was Grandpa... I... Could that have been why he was trying to... I can't... Look, look, this one. The Pierre Lautrec. We should go check it what? out. What? No. Tess, we have the rest of the house to pack up and I still... Mom. This is your... It's about... Who? These are big questions. Okay, listen. Yes. Hey. I, I'm not, I didn't win. I just have. I do want to know. And if we go, So if one. Then why not? Right. Glad I could. Continue. No, you just. Actually, I do have another question. French people. Uh, if, if there are any French people that what, watch my stuff, hello. I love you all. But you know when a French man and a French woman, or two French women, whatever, are doing the, you know, proverbial love beefcakes? Um, obviously, we oui is yes in French. So do you say, oh, we, 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 we? Because that would put me off a little bit. I'm like, are you saying yes, or are you actually just whizzing on me right now? Because either way, that's pretty hot. <laughs> just joking. Anyway, once we are done, we're now done with the area, so we can head past the minivan, past the old hippie stoner van, disgusting mold smell, and interact with the gate in order to uh, split like a tree and leaf. Yeah, get it? Yeah, I'm hilarious. And there we go. That will be the next achievement for going mobile. Uh, this is... What? Hotels do rooms. Just like this. Right. But there's a restaurant. I'm gonna head down there and get us dinner. I'll be back with something. Well, what do you want to eat? Oh. Um, burger. Do your homework. So, from hippie smelly vans in order... Uh, from 30 years ago to motel rooms, which looks kind of smelly, but yeah, kind of is quite comfortable as well. So, first things first, we're going to go straight to our um, mobile phone. We're going to check the text, and we are going to message Francine back. So go down one, there we go, and just keep spamming the A button in order to text Francine for a bit. And yes, young people. There really was phones like this, probably called a ring-a-log. It's, uh, you know, we, you, we've got it a lot easier in terms of text and everything and camera and stuff than we had back in the day. It was a lot tougher. God damn, kids have it easy these days. Anyway, see? And he had a big fat box TV as well. And Anyway, take a left, look down before you go to the bathroom to open up Opal's suitcase. Uh, interact with the pill bottle and you're going to be like, oh my god. That's why your jaw always swings to the left. Now I get it. Um, just because 
doctors give strong pills sometimes. Anyway, once you have messaged Francine by pressing the X button, uh, the achievement for Mother's Little Helper, definitely not Santa's Little Helper, will unlock. Ooh, nice coffee. Uh, maybe in the morning. But anyway, go back to your backpack, and then you're going to hold the A button to do some homework. And then, luck luckily, one second later, your old pal, oh pal, comes back, and uh, she's got us a big, fat, good-looking, juicy burger. So, spank you very much. That's what we're going to do next. You can start off finishing your homework when there is juicy burger and chips to be devoured. So, just eat the burger, keep smashing it down, and you will get the clean plate club. Again, if, like I said earlier, if you do miss any achievements, there is chapter select you can always easily go back to. So again, thank you to the devs for putting chapter select in. It's obvious. So once the achievement unlocks, um, go ahead and finish the homework. And then we will also, uh, well, we'll have to speak to August. And uh, that'll be that for this chapter. Uh, by the way, the Clean Play Club achievement should unlock. It didn't unlock on me on screen for some reason, which... Happens quite a lot in my stuff lately. It's annoying. Yeah. I guess part... What? <laughs> With me. No. Of course. What do you mean? She... Why didn't... Oh, hold on. Love you too. Okay. Let's finish this now. You think we go to bed, but actually what we're going to do is just interact with the door in order to find mom and go to bed. Because that's nice. You want to find your mammy. I want to find Mermy. Right, so that's the room service achievement done. Now we've only got three achievements left and less than 10 minutes left to go. So um, just, again, obviously smash through the dialogue as we've been doing so far. And effectively, all we're going to be doing now is interacting with the glove compartment. We are going to lose our phone, which is just oh, you're stupid. Uh, interact with your backpack, and then it's literally just a case of Speaking to and then arguing with your mama. Grande. We have to go back and test. We have been driving for over an. You don't understand. Francine, we text or call or. Didn't you text her before? Yeah, but. And your cell phone wouldn't. Mom, we have. Yes, we have. Well, we can try. I am not breaking. You know, I. And now, and now you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You never told me about the ones you found when you went. Well, you didn't hide it very well. Like if you're gonna snoop through- Yeah. But since you apparently need- But I am- So that's what this is- Um, you didn't tell me- <sighs> Why would you just- I didn't- She doesn't want- But she ought- And I said no. <laughs> At least we-, we aren't gonna sleep. Aren't you- I- Money- My- <sighs> Why don't you like- Excuse me? You always- ask First of all, I had to do- You're making a- You've never- August thinks she know- Wow. Do you think you're the only- You're a- Don't bring your- Why not? The divorce? I don't wanna- Fine. What? When I see dad- You're not going. Yes, I- What do you mean? From my biz- From your business. If you just- The truth? Oh, so that's what this is all- Fine. You- Your father announced he was going to Reno to be- What? So then I- So I divorce- I'm sure he's just as pre- uh, So sure. Now, this is getting awkward. Uh, so, we'll just pick up the directions here. Um, you can say, Mom, she won't speak to you. I think it's just a, like a timed out section, but uh, just pick up the directions and keep trying to speak to your mother until the chapter ends, and then we're on to the final one. It's a dead end. It's not a dead- Where? I don't know. I think it's through here. Thanks for the- <sighs> Look. Agreed. Alright, let's do this! Let's end it, of sorts. Okay, so there's only one path to go. It's effectively down the steps here. Take a left, and then we're gonna head to the building that is gonna be directly in front of us. Or sort of, uh, more or less, to the right of it. Uh, so you're going to have to interact with the gap on your right now. And then we can interact with this plank in order to get it over. How are... Maybe there's something... This is so stupid. But we... What if you fall off... But we're... Mobile... Duh... Okay, fine. No. Don't tell... I... <sighs> All right. 
No, I should- No way! I could say this! I should go- Let's fl- Call it. Heads. I lost- In a manner of- After you. Alright. Careful. Not very claimant. Not quite as- Yeah. Let's hope we- SpongeBob! Anyway, once that's done- Sorry. Uh, we head down. Now you can go to the left here, open up the door, take in the, open up the, try to open up the door on the left again. Uh, you don't actually have to do this, um, but this is the room that we're trying to get into. So what we'll do then, we need to find a key. So we'll turn around, do not go back down the ladder, but take a left and then the next left. Kind of looks like you can't go down there, but as you can see, we can fit fine, just fine. So now we're going to descend down this ladder. Uh, take a left and go through this next door. Don't go up the stairs to the left, but if you go past the stairs, take a right and into the bar section, you can get yourself a little shot of delicious Jack Daniels and honey, if it was any about back then, which there probably wasn't. Uh, so go ahead, grab the key and then take the next door to the left. Left again, heading up the ladder. I know it's a lot of walking and I know we're all tired from that by now. Uh, head back through the door, take the next left, and we can finally open up what... What was the secret that Pierre was hiding? Was he giving my nan's old uh, poof to flaps the old dusty busty? We are about to find out. So once you've interacted with the postcard and uh, had a look at your old pal, we can then interact with the mailbox key. This could come in here. Looks like a ma- <gasps> Now let us head towards the end. Was our granny getting the old hoover buster up the old duster puffer? We are about to find out. Or, uh, yeah, I don't know. So we're going to head <laughs> basically back the way we came at the beginning. You can see the mailbox already on the left. It's going to be the bottom right one. And actually, the revelation is... Quite astounding and astonishing and actually quite depressing because this happens way too often and it is just sad that anyone ever has to get involved in this. So yes, I do feel very sorry for any children that um, have any fathers like this or any mothers, of course, but a lot of the time this happens way too frequently. If you don't want kids, don't bloody have kids. Simples. No, I mean, right, right. Uh, I'm... Not except with... <laughs> so my father ha He was just... We never got to know him. He, w he was just... Yeah. For your whole life, you'd thought that really... <sighs> I can't believe he... All this time, he... For an old boat and some boots. I wish I could have talked. And my mother, living... <sighs> I just... Wish she... Yeah. I can't believe she would... Why didn't she say... Maybe... Yeah. August was so lit. I just wish... <sighs> so... He spent all his money. Do you think he could... I honestly... You don't want to keep going? No. Yeah. I'm sorry. He pretended to die. I didn't leave. Well, maybe not. I thought you said you were the one who... I mean, listen. Yeah. <sighs> Thanks for doing... Of course. And for push... Just doing... I know I haven't been the... Oh, Mom. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I love you, Mom. I love you, too. So, yes. Naughty, naughty boy. He didn't die of a heart attack. He just decided to live on a boat and drink himself to potentially his own early grave, yeah. Pretty damn disgusting, but anyway, this is going to be it now. Um, so all you're going to do is just um, speak to your mom. This is going to take another minute or two. Again, dialogue choices don't matter, whatever you do. But you will finally get the last achievement for the road less travelled for completing the game. So I will leave it here. So I just want to say thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. I really hope you enjoyed the game. It was It's an absolute fantastic debut game, and I do actually hope for an open road too. It would be very interesting to um, expand on the stories with not only what happened with, obviously, Opal's mother and father, but it would be interesting to see what happens with Tess's mom and pa, and yeah. So I'm hoping that there could even be some DLC or maybe an open road too in the future. But uh, again, thank you so much for watching, guys and gals. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to, of course, like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Big shout out, as always, to my Patreon supporters and YouTube members, and I'll see you in the next Game Pass game, guys and gals. Big love! <laughs> and, but...
Well, I guess God knows I- But yeah, mom, you were stuck and you had the bowling ball hit. Yep. Mm-hmm. So, moving in. Yeah. Yeah. Would you want to- It seems like a good choice. Yeah. Are you worried about- These days- Yeah. We've been through so- Yeah. I will say- Her bath. Yeah. I'm we should call off- Oh. <laughs> Whatever we end up- Yeah.